<laughs> These sets are keeping me going. Yeah. And speaking of keep, we've seen this before. We've seen this Gen John numbers before. Yep. John is uh, trying to lock in, get mentally prepared for, you know, the next, uh, you know, Bobo match because uh, he chose Snake Eater. And Jesus, Jen, 60% already. And you know, we tell people not to let John just get away with things off stage, and Jen took that to heart. And they're on Battlefield. Hooray. Yay, Yay you stay. Battlefield. Oh. oh. Wins Kalos, though. <laughs> Oh, Jen doing a good job getting these explosive lights out, making John pick options off stage instead of just letting him camp with deep breathing, with soccer ball, with uh, all those options that he has. So, ooh, low profiling the Nair. Oh my gosh, you know, Nair is no harder worker than John when it comes to beating people at locals. And you know what, just in time <laughs> for International Workers Day. Yeah, congratulations, Happy International Workers John Day, John. Number. Yeah. Congratulations, John Numbers. Another year. <laughs> That's right. You know what? Come out to local. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa, whoa. What was the, that? The wind box from that actually like clipped John into sliding all the way to the right. John knew that was going to happen. Of course. Yep. Calculated. Yep. Planned it. Easier recovery path. He did all the math in his head. And here we go. Both at high percents. Any little hit may kill, but not dash attack. Jen looking to go deep, but opting to just teleport and ledge trap. Aw, Jen was like, come on, John, get close. You have nothing to lose but your stock. Yeah, that dash attack will do it. First one, no shot. Second one, yup. So here we go. Jen doesn't have much of a lead to play with here, but if he can land a Nair train and maybe rack up some damage, some extra credit would be nice. But John knows what he's looking for. Maybe shielding a bit too much, though. Uh-oh. Pop quiz. Okay. Does Palu have a counter? Palu does have a counter. There we go. Good job. Does John remember? Of course he does. <laughs> yeah. John Numbers wrote the book on characters' moves. He was a contractor hired to Nintendo to write the script of the game. <laughs> as well as uh, play test everything. Okay. I, actually, you joke, but uh, professional Smash players actually did help uh, you know, test balances for the game in Japan. Oh, that's pretty neat. It is actually really nice. It would be very nice if they kept that up and kept balancing the game, but oh well. Well, they did that, do that for balances. Yeah, but now there's no more balances. Well, you know, there are a couple top players. This game is extremely balanced. It I'm is just, very I'm balanced. Just, no, no, it is very balanced, but I like seeing like I like seeing metas coming in and out, right? Like if you look at games like uh, bad example, League. Bad example. Or like Dota, you know, where characters are constantly getting buffed and nerfed. So you see, like, maybe Ganondorf is actually an S-tier character for a month. It would be cool. Dude, you know, a game like League of Legends, like, it's incredible to see, you know, like top tiers get uh, nerfed and buffed. But it's crazy to see that the latest patch actually uh, nerfed everybody's PCs. <laughs> no joke! It's bricking PCs. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It's about time. <laughs> that's right. This you know, Ryan was like, we really don't want people to play this game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we, we took away your voice chat. <laughs> We're doing everything we can to get you to stop playing this game. We took away your motherboard. Pray we don't take anything yeah. else. <laughs> but right now, John just trying to take the second stock, but it's super hard. This aerial pressure from Jen, you know, he gets one confirmed with that Nair, and it's like 35%. Yeah, for real. The dash attack's coming out too. John getting the damage racked up against him. Jen, we haven't seen him get hit in about like 40 seconds here, so. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, just missed the down tilt. I mean, John just threading that needle to the ledge. Not even going to try and stall with the header. Instead, doing it a ledge really close. And a great dash attack. Has a fast fall. Jumping over. And now that he does have deep breathing, John hasn't even tried to throw out the sun. No. Uh, oh, no, there we go. From your mouth to his ears, Swiss. Stop reading my mouth, John. <laughs> the down tilt came out, took Jen deep, but not enough to kill. Trying to hold that ledge of soccer ball. Great ledge trapping by John to find that F tilt, pressuring uh, Jen into the neutral getup. Now, John does have that download. I think it's going to really help him in this second game, but can he take this first one? Uh oh. He's playing a dangerous game running through these back airs from Jen at ledge. Uh oh. There up we tilt. Go. Nope, nothing else coming out of it, even with deep breathing up. Jen finds the grab, looks for an up smash, maybe a fade away from John, but John picking the right option, going to that top platform. This is usually what happens when you do get uh, thrown by Palu in that situation, because most Palus will try and go for that back air and read the DI, and so you will try and just fade away. But that was a really nice mix-up from Jen to try and just uh, finish that stock out with an up smash. Something that he can afford here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, good read on the air dodge by Jen. Saw John do it a couple times on the down throw and finally figuring out. Mm. 
He's going to do it again. Jen has reminded me that I have water in hand, and I'm going to take a sip, too. Yeah, that's you know what? Everyone at home, everyone watching, take a sip of your water right now. Mandated water break, the everybody. Mandated water break. Posture check if you can, too. It's hot out there. Mm. That water is so good. One thing I will miss about the Xeno venue, when it's freezing cold during the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So true, Swiss. Right now, we are getting some Sonic music here with Sunset Heights. But you know, not even this music counter pick is going to help John here with these Nair planes. Yeah, for real. The Nairs are coming out heavy into the back air. Such a filthy combo. And Jen has it down. You know he's never going to miss that. But John's is, trying to play around our ledge again. Is this a zero to death? Oh, What's happening? Calling that now, Swiss. That's bold. Okay, yeah. all right. You know what? I was bold, but that was too brash. Yeah, more like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Listen, I know I do. I'm a no tour, all right? <laughs> no, no, we both are Swiss. That's oh. why we're on comms. <laughs> Avery, though. Uh, right now, John getting some nice confirms here. At 104, he's not even, uh, he's undeterred. Yeah. Fighting back. If there's some, if there's one person you don't want to play these teleport uh, platform cancel games against, it's John. Jen tried it once right there off the top platform, and John was right there to punish with uh, a bear. It's gonna scare a lot of people, but you know what? Nothing scarier than that back air when you do connect it from a frame trap. Yeah, reading those air dodges, so good from Jen so far. And now John, you know, Jen's only sitting at 65, and look, here's one nair into the light instead of following it up with another nair. Jen playing out of his mind right now. Uh oh, this is big. Oh, the hula hoops bailing John out of what would have been a bad scenario. All right, air dodging away, but you know what? This is best of three, not best of five. John, you got to fight back. Where's the punish? Oh, my God, the win box. Two times, John just hula hooped high, not hitting Jen at all, and no punish coming out from Jen. He just wanted to get back onto a platform that's safe, but you know what? Nice up throw. Shrine to actually get a platform cancel messes it up. Instead, John throw, not the sun. He gets <laughs> what was hit. That? <laughs> yeah, for real. That sun went around the, sun, the solar system. That sun literally became Pac-Man and ate the auto reticle pellets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> waka, waka, waka. But here we go. Jen doing a great job of pushing here with a whole stock lead. Not oh my gosh. Still not going to kill, though. It's pretty weak, even though it does a lot of damage. Ooh, that was almost sick from Jen, but John doing a good job avoiding all of those options. Now, now but John still can't find the kill. I think John is uh, going to actually pay f Okay, there we go. I feel like Jen is just trying to bait out like another Sun so he can counter that. Yeah. He's not going to throw out those auto, reticle auto reticles anymore unless John is off stage because it does catch those double jumps. Ooh, good recovery path by John. Going a little bit high and outside to avoid Jen, who knew John had no air dodge and no jump. Back throw, going to do it. And John on his last stock. But you know what? In Smash Brothers, you just can't give up. You can always bring it back. It's the beauty of this game. Ooh, and an untackles the situation finally takes Jen's first stock. Never back down, never what? Never give up. That's right. John numbers. Not giving up, but Jen doesn't make it not really matter because man has even hitting his ledge trapping. But here we go. John finding an up air. Jen now stuck at ledge. Reversal with the header. An interesting uh, trap by John. All right, John. Trying to stall in the air, avoid these up airs, avoids the grab, and there we go, getting a good confirm into that. 86%. You know, John was like, you know, unions did not fight hard for a 40 hour work week if I'm gonna that, lose John? here. That was bizarre. That was uh, very odd. But you know what, John, just weave him back. Oh, oh no, He's, he feels trapped at the ledge. There we go, finally fights back, but there's gonna be another Nair on the platform. The dash attack catching his recovery. John hasn't been able to land in about a minute. No, absolutely not. Jen just not letting it happen. And we're looking at a repeat of last game where, yeah, John Ooh. might take this stock here, but then we're sitting at Jen, who's up 90% on last stock, so. Really good high recovery from Jen. Almost died to that header. If he just uh -oh. recovered a little too low, and Jen being like, do I risk this second stock? I would have done it. I would have done it too, Swiss, but that might be why we're not up there right now. <laughs> no, you know what? May have to regret it. All right. Oh, no! Oh, threading the needle. Okay, that might kill. Not enough. Doesn't get the full one instead. Ooh. Oh, 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 no, no, no. There. No! He buffered the air dodge. A tale as old as time itself, Swiss. The old buffer air dodge. Good work by Jen. 
I mean, Jen just did such good pressure at ledge, being like, okay, I'm not going to try and go for a spike. I'm not going to try and go too far off stage. Instead, I'm going to try and get these straight hits, frustrate him, and finally gets that kill because John just flubbed in and put. It's good, though. You still won. You managed to keep your cool in a high intense situation, and that's really what it comes down to. If you're trying to win those wars of attrition, mentally, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Oh. I was expecting a couple counters, and we saw a couple counters from Jen off stage. Yeah, but not enough to be like, yeah, he was countering, but it's yeah. just not worth it. Like, you counter the soccer ball, then what? It's probably better to just try to ledge trap like this. Right. Oh, yeah. Ah, shucks. And John just angry at himself. Got no one to blame but yourself. But, dude, but being a good sports.